Me again, and I'm back on this uh, call from Jules Merrifield. How do I add a live website into a PowerPoint presentation? I tried live web, but in Windows 10, it doesn't work. And specifically, she was wanting to know how to uh, run a kiosk in presentation in the foyer, cycling through various photos, but then showing a live web page. So that is um, what she was wanting to do, a PowerPoint presentation. I created a video earlier this morning, which was using a, a plugin for uh, PowerPoint called WebViewer, which sort of did the job, but not really well. And then I started thinking about, well, why do you have to do it in PowerPoint? Why is PowerPoint the thing that people automatically think about when uh, they want to do kiosks? You can actually do it uh, a different way. And what I'd like to do is show you that different way. So we're not going to use PowerPoint. What we're going to use is Google, let's try that again, Google Chrome. So here, uh, this is an example of uh, the live web page that I wanted to include in that PowerPoint before. And when you, if you looked at the video, you would have seen uh, that this was static, it didn't change. And that's not very good if you're wanting to show a live website, say, say a dashboard or something like that. Well, instead of using PowerPoint to show a live web page, why not use a browser to show the live web page? So that's um, an important uh, concept to understand that it's always best to use the native way of showing the web page, and that's in a browser. But the browser is able to show photographs. So uh, in different tabs, I could have very easily um, a whole bunch of photos. So here are some photos here, and I could right click on those, and I could go open with and go Google Chrome, because I've added Google Chrome by choosing another app. Google Chrome, it adds it in here. I can go into this tab and uh, I could come in here again, right click on this one and uh, open with Google Chrome. Repeat that for these other ones. I probably won't do them all because you'll get the idea. I'll close that one there. So what I've got here is a tab for that one, a tab for that, a tab for that, an online alarm clock. And I could move these around uh, if I want to, just by dragging, so that changes the order. And then what I've got is this little guy here. So from the Chrome Web Store, I've got a Revolver Tabs extension, and I've already added it to Chrome. It would say Add to Chrome here if I didn't do that. And what you'll find is that it sits in here in my extensions, and it's called Revolver Tabs. I'll put the link to this uh, in the description. So you right-click on this, and you go to Options, and in here you can say how many seconds you want it to show each tab. So these are just like slides in my PowerPoint and it's just gonna jump between one after the other after however many seconds you wanna set it to be. You can even have it to auto start when you start your browser uh, so that it does this if you dedicated a machine to be a kiosk, uh, you can have it to auto start with the, uh, the tabs that you want. You can save the tabs that you um, had done because Chrome will allow you to do that. And then you can have it auto start Okay, and you can even, if you want to, tell it to reload certain tabs. So if it was a dashboard, you probably want it to reload, and that would be a matter of ticking that box. But then what you want to do is untick or remove those sites that you don't want to be reloaded. Um, for these photos that are local, it doesn't matter if they reload. For this alarm clock, it's a one that's live all the time. It's running a JavaScript, so it doesn't need to be reloaded. So we, we won't bother reloading it. Um, so that's pretty much it. You hit save and that's it. So then when you want to show this, uh, I'll close this guy here because we don't need it anymore. And what we want to do is go, let's play this. So in 10 seconds, uh, what we should find is that this picture will change to the next one automatically. Any second now, there it goes. And in another 10 seconds, it should go to the alarm clock. And just about there, and there it is. And it's a live alarm clock, it's actually working. So that's a big um, plus on top of uh, what we were seeing with PowerPoint. Now, the other thing is that you don't have to, once you've, once you've started it by clicking that button, you don't have to have these tabs across the top and you don't have to have this Windows toolbar up there on the bottom. Um, so what you can do is press the F11 key on your keyboard and that will then show full screen. So now what we're doing is going through a slideshow, which includes live websites if you want it, 
and uh, it will just keep cycling through them until you F11, until you F11 to go back out of that, and then press this, click this to stop it. A little X appears in there, and it's no longer going to do that. So that was a really cool um, extension, which was called Revolver Tabs, and I will stick that in the description. Hope that helped. See ya.